the trans fats, and how do we how do we get those in our diet? Where are they coming from? They they ended up in the food supply because the food manufacturers wanted to stabilize fats, so they you know stayed in a form that wouldn't spoil. They took liquid vegetable oils and they added hydrogen compounds. And I won't go into all the chemistry of how you take a liquid and make it a solid, but adding those extra hydrogens onto the carbon bonds formed a solid substance. Then it could be in food packaging and often they taste very good. But what the problem is, is it's a foreign fat to our body. And we have enzymes that work on the fats. And when they have these foreign fats, they're not folded right. And so the enzymes have trouble breaking them down. And it takes a lot more energy. And you get more problems with cholesterol levels. And a whole, whole cascade of events can occur if you get a lot of those in your diet. Small amounts are fine. The right kind of fats are very important, and I don't want to scare people off thinking, oh, they can't have any fat in their diet. They need good fats.